some time for me because I think that y'all rushed me a little bit on last night so you ain't helping me out none minister I need you here and nevertheless it's good to have you back again with us Miss Jake and you know when the sun begins to shine in your life can't nothing block that and what is God saying the sun is just beginning to shine matter of fact it haven't started yet he said you're just coming through that storm of life and the clouds are just beginning to, to, to blow over and the rain is beginning to dry out and the sun is beginning to peek through but God is saying there's going to be a burst through in life and a burst through of life of prominence and of power and of restoration like never before. And I will feed the hungry even through your graces and even through your life. And thus have I done and thus did I say the Lord and will I continue to do so? For I'm coming back after church without a spot or wrinkle or blemish said the Lord. For the time draw it not even at the door. For in the latter days there will be wars and rumors of wars. But God said, let these things not concern you. But right now, where we are in this moment, this day in time is a step before eternity. You might sit up and say, well, Prophet Johnson, I'm just like everybody else. I'm waiting for this to go by, folks. This is not what they call this, the Spanish flu of 1918. This, this, this dealing with a whole different ball game here. This is a deaf angel. This is really, really serious. Look at the, 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 uh, the death toll that's going up day by day in your news broadcast, in your, your programs. It's, it's, it's rolling almost as if it's like the deficit, you see. And something is happening because the disobedient fan in sycophants of life under the satanic order of evil, doth not understand or see the procurement of nature like never before. So God is allowing the world to see that even through death and poverty and destruction, the enemy still lie, cheat, steal like never before. You still got hackers out there, agents out there, Hacking internet and telephone, listening to conversations, low down, dirty, demonic, evil, hell bound people that don't know they're going to die. So God's all seeing eye is moving. Folks, we're in what you call, they call them the last days. If you don't believe these are the last days, go out there and party. Go out there and boogie. Go fill up your arenas, sports stadium. You're going to find out that we are truly in the last days. Because if Jesus or if your scientist or if he don't allow them to fix it, you can forget it. We all might as well go ahead as what they call bite the bullet. You see, we might, they might as well set up a COVID-19 facility. And let us walk through one by one like cattle. And they need to spray us all, spray them all with the heaviest COVID-19 chemicals they can hit us with. Sue comes out. That's what we are. It's amazing what you see right now. In Politicians 8, Spirit Tick 7. The political world, topsy-turvy, upside down. I told y'all the igloo effect that this was going to spiral down. That's why living strong virus, they're blowing it up. You are blowing up the station. We are leading the way. They're following. We've been here for years. We've been doing this. We just like FEMA of the Internet. We are that emergency broadcast system that's been putting it out there way ahead. I hate to say it, don't get mad. I, I get criticized all the time, but I'm going to tell you like this right here, and I know Miss J and some of the rest of them get upset with me, but don't get mad, but I'm going to tell you, I 
am sorry. But and I do apologize because we tried that your pastors are 15 to 20 years behind. They're five years. They way back. They backward. They way back. See, because I'm going to show you how they're going to do it. The great motivational speech preachers. <clears throat> Get up in here. High five three people. Didn't I tell y'all that the Lord is good? That the Lord was going to bring us out? And I know God is. You're getting ready for a ridiculous blessing. A miraculous breakthrough. You ain't seen nothing yet. You see, all that. All of that. What good was it? Cap Miss J, let's read. Let's read. Um, this is this is really something. Let, let we go. We let's let's go get on down. Like a oh, uh, boy, I tell you, the, the people don't understand the language that I use sometimes. But and I'll use language, and y'all hear me. Lord, where am I? I'm just a lost. Where you want me to go? Right there. Okay. All right. We'll go there. Mm-hmm. I want to share this. Here it is. Now, uh, let's go to Psalm 37. Giving, I don't know why I'm back on this. Giving is your way out. If there was ever a time for you to give, if there was ever a time, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you, now is that time. You tried everything else. You tried it all. Many of you right now, you don't even know, you don't even pay your tithe. Don't even have a place to send your tithe to. P.O. Box 363, Richmond, South Carolina, 29936. Logo. So give. That is. For the Lord is saying, I am preparing them for the breaking of day, and my prophet does not need persuasion upon you. For the life itself shall speak to your persuasion, and you shall know that your money is not your safe haven nor your harbor. It is only your test of obedience. He does not ask for you to give to support him personally. He asks you to give to save your life, to support yourself, and to watch my divine disfigurement of order work for you. There would be nothing more for I see the landing of the eagle. And you say, why have the eagle landed? Because he have found his prey. Therefore, I say unto thee, that is, there will be no shortcomings coming through this door. For I have a breaking promise plan and a plan of a breaking promise coming into your life. That means that the promise is going to break through no matter what, trying to hold it back. I hear the Lord saying, that they have tested me. That they have toyed with me. They have played with me. Your laws and your government doth play the fiddle to my song, saith the Lord. But they doth not know that I stand at the ready in battle. Uh, man on one side and God on the other uh, and man is moving it forth and God is saying you can't go no further no matter what you do no matter where you go you gotta come through me uh, but man said we don't need you we gonna do it ourselves um, and they done said it 
and I'm going to give it to you straight up because I am Prophet Johnson. In their hearts, uh, they said, to hell with God. And God is saying, to hell with you uh, because that's where you're going to end up. Uh, all you hackers and slackers and takers and makers and all you do fun is with your monies. Uh, I'm here to let you know uh, that Penny Annie just came in uh, and somewhere in your life, uh, you're going to play the fiddle with God uh, and the Lord is going to use your organs, uh, in your intestines, uh, in your heart. Uh, your heart is the drum. Uh, your organs in your intestines is the good top. Uh, your liver in your lungs. Uh, that's going to be uh, nothing but your pipes in your flutes. Uh, and when it's all said and done, uh, I'm going to play your music uh, from your inside out. Uh, and you're going to call upon me uh, upon your deathbed. Uh, but it's going to be too late, said the Lord. Uh, I'm not going to hear you. Uh, I'm not going to turn to you. Uh, you're going to say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Uh, I received Jesus Christ. Uh, the Lord is saying, no, no. Uh, and go tell hell I told you no uh, you didn't want me when you was healthy you didn't want me when you were satisfied uh, you didn't want me when you was in the street uh, and when you had it all uh, when you had your money your children your houses your husband your wife your rendezvous your rock roll drugs alcohol you didn't want none of me uh, and now I don't have nothing to do with you uh, I know you not uh, because you ain't nothing but a worker of iniquity. Go from me uh, because your heart is not with me, uh, but your lips honor me. Uh, and it's going to be the same way uh, because before it's all over, uh, my prophet is going to stand uh, in the midst of my kingdom, uh, looking with me, uh, understanding my love, uh, understanding my heart, uh, and understanding uh, that I gave my son for the world, uh, but they won't turn to me. They will not repent, said the Lord. Second Chronicles 7 and 14 is the way out. But the people are stiff-necked, hard-hearted, and stubborn, said the Lord. The black folks are dying like flies in the street. You can't tell them nothing. Stubborn and stiff-necked and full of pride. Don't honor mother. Don't honor father. Won't honor God. The white man owned everything, but now he see that he's just like you and me somewhere in your life. The Lord is saying, how long is it going to take? What is it going to take? What do the prophet need to say now? What? They don't listen. Don't nobody listen. Uh, Star, Lucy, Linwood, Brunel, Sandra, they listen. But Miss J and Captain, Minister, are you listening? They don't listen. That's my sense of humor. Here it is. Oof, where am I at? Uh, why don't we look at... um? That's too much right there. That's a little bit too heavy. I don't want to go with that, all that fat, heavy stuff. Let's go with a little bit of light mayonnaise. Uh, where did we go last, yesterday? Was it Isaiah? Uh, Isaiah. I don't even know where we were. Where did we go yesterday? Um, I'm just as lost as I can be. Have you ever had a brain cramp? It, 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 if that's what they call a brain cramp, I, I got a brain cramp, so I'm going to forget about that because the, the Lord done cramped up my brain. If he done cramped up my brain, I'm not going there. I'm going to where my brain is uncramped. Let's go to Isaiah. This is where I wanted to go anyway. Don't you know that God is the only Lord there is? You know, he's, he's only Lord. I'm going to show you something that, that's really... I don't know what you call it, but I'm going to go straight to the base scripture. This is really 20,000 leagues below the sea. 
the spirit of the apostle, the prophets. What I'm about to show you is a secret in the Bible that don't too many people know about, very few. When I show you this, it's going to just simply, I think, open your eyes up to a God in a world that many people probably never knew existed. Isaiah 44 and verse number uh, 7. Miss J, I need a chew. I need a queasy chew. A queasy chew up at the front, Miss J. Okay. Uh, where am I at? Oh, God, help me. People, I'm real. I'm normal. I'm a human. Okay? Prophet Johnson, what's wrong? I ate too much last night before I went to bed and didn't eat enough when I, and didn't eat enough when I got up. I think that's what it is. Miss J don't pay me no attention either. Miss J, you got my queen that you? Here it is. Uh, Isaiah 44 in verse number 7. I'm all right now, Miss J. Thank you for not showing up. Isaiah 44 and 7. Look at this. And who? God is saying, and who? But wait. Before he get to that, verse number 6. Isaiah 44 and 6. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel. And his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last. Beside me there is no God. Did you hear that? No God. There's no God like Jehovah. No God like Jehovah. No God like Jehovah. <laughs> Here it comes. Pay attention. And who? As I. God said, who else? This is a test of life. Shall call. Who else is going to call you? And shall declare it. What is he declaring? Whatever he called. God said, that's why we call those things that be not as though they were. See, Holy Spirit, let me just say it. Just say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. We, I'm going to say it and get in trouble, and I don't care if I get in trouble because this is against everything we believe, everything we believe. Now, I'm going to say it and get in trouble. Now, I'm going to prove this. Now, I'm letting you got to prove it now. Here it comes. Pastors, bishops, Christians, saints of God, sinners, Hypocrites, white folks, Chinese, all the whole world. The word is not working for you now. What? Uh, let me say it again. You see this book? You call it the Bible? The shop is closed. It's not working. This is, this does not, say it again, Prophet Johnson. I'm going, the word is not working for y'all. It's not working for you. Well, Prophet Johnson, is it working for you? No. I'm included. Well, who is the word working for? The word is working for Jesus now. You see, because you didn't do nothing when, it, when, when, when you had it working for you. You didn't, don't, don't get mad at me. You didn't do nothing. But what you're doing right now, the word's not working for you. The word is working for Jesus. What do you mean the word is working for Jesus? Jesus is the one now. He's saying, if you ain't coming through 2 Chronicles 7, 14, you're not turning the people to me. You out there preaching this word for your own glory, for your own good. It's not working for you. It's working for God. It's working for God to get so saved. It's going to work for you when you're working for God. Then it's working for you. 
You see, well, Prophet Joshua, God's not telling you not to pray, not telling you not to read the Bible. What he's trying to tell you is that the mainstream world don't know that the word is shut down. The Bible said there would be no do nor rain except by my word. That's why God shut it up. That's why he shut up heaven. He said they just wasted their time. They're just going through reading the Bible. Faith is a substance of things. We got to have faith uh, to get on through this right here. And if we believe God, uh, he's going to bring it out. Child, you go on out there. I'm going to pray God cover you with his blood. Hey, forget that stuff, folks. It's about obedience. Who is going to tell the people, turn to God? He's going to heal the land. Let's ask God to forgive us for our sin. Nobody. No preacher. That's why the word ain't working for. If it Okay, preacher, if it's working for you so good and it's working for me so good, with his stripes, by his stripes, we are and we're healed. Go you into all the world and preach the gospel. He that believe and baptize shall be saved. Lay hands on the sick, they shall be covered. Come on, brother, let's go get our suit and let's go get COVID. Now, see, you're not going to do that. Why? Because the word's not working for you now. Uh, yes, it, no, it's not. It's working for Jesus. Now, if Jesus mount us up, we good. But that's why y'all running. That's why the preachers running with their toilet tissue. Because they know. They know now. God know who we are. God know you were nothing but a hypocrite. Lying, sitting up in the pulpit, up there explaining the further money, great and swelling words. You, are, you, don't, you don't have no healing for COVID-19. Stop lying. Stop lying with them pills and them golden seals or whatever stuff you got out there. No healing for nothing except the word of God. And the word is not working because it's dead and the people are not utilizing it and they don't care. And the only person the word is working for is the Lord himself. All the rest of us are done for. Yeah, if it ain't, it's working for you. Through Christ. And who as I shall call. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you this. And declare it. Now watch what he's going to do. And set it in order for me. That's who the word is set in order for him. Not us. It's for us. But we abuse it. And just like a person in a position. Just like the policeman. You know I have to use them. I have to use them all the time. Because, because they were and have been the worst nightmare of my entire existence on the face of this earth. I despised them, hated them, didn't have, don't want to have nothing to do with police agents of this world because they hunted me like an animal. They hunted us like dogs. That's what they did. And I understood that, you see. So now... What are you trying to say? And set it in order for me. So what's happening now? It's not working for them no more. They can't do what they did before. God's judgment is upon them as well because of the evil that they did. Who is he just like them? Who is he setting it in order for? Himself. Not us. Himself. He coming back after his church. And if the word going to work for you, you got to work it through Christ. You forget the rest. You forget the rest. We're going to get on through. Uh, I promise you, baby. Baby, I promise you, baby. Uh, uh, We're going to get through this, baby. I promise you that, baby. I pro who are you, man? Who, who are you? African, black man. Who are you? White man. I promise y'all, we're going to get through. This. Who are you? You didn't even go through Jesus. You got a word that done fell on fallow, broken ground. This is a test of life. I bump around if I want to. And who as I shall call and shall declare it and set it in order for me. I'm, I'm, I'm deep on this, y'all. Since I appointed the ancient people. <laughs> you, see, you see that word? I appointed the ancient people. Now, there are spirits of the ancient. The Navajo Indians or the Indian 
the native tribe. They know the spirits of the ancients. I myself know the spirits of the ancients. These are the bad boys. These are the pyramid builders. These are the ones who gave the knowledge of the Mayan calendar. These boys are bad. They ain't nothing to play with. This is your real court system. Ha! I've infiltrated man's plan. And I'm digging his hole that he dug for me, saith the Lord. No. 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 See, Miss J, they going to try to beat me, Captain. I told y'all. I told y'all. They going to try to beat me. Just like they beat my prophet. They, they beat him. They going to try to beat me, say God. They, they beat my prophet. Now they going to try to beat me. <laughs> the Lord saying, Prophet Johnson, speak it. Speak it, say it, and don't you bite your tongue. The Lord is going to beat them down. He's going to beat them down. Sit back two weeks, two weeks. While we praying, black people, y'all better get back to God. I done told y'all, y'all through. You better lead the way. Two weeks. While they, 14 days, God going to beat them down. He going to beat them down. They playing with him, with their technology, with their position, with their testing. They test their government, test their agents, test their power. God got y'all. God got you. Because you think you got him, but he got you. You better know who you're messing with. This God that we're talking about, you can forget it. He's going to beat you down in two weeks, 14 days. Black folks, y'all better go somewhere and pray. I done told y'all, y'all better get somewhere. Get your black tail somewhere, sit down and pray. Forget your pastor. Forget your bishop. Forget Prophet Johnson. Go somewhere. Because God going to get them. I told y'all. Divine protection is upon certain ones. Others, a Christian devil or a devil devil. I wouldn't be raising hell if I were you. Whatever you do, you do it against your own self. But don't you do it against nobody else. See, that's the way you got to roll. You got to just be to yourself. Chill with you. Because black folks, y'all in trouble. We's be in trouble. Y'all don't know yet. You don't know. You still don't know. You're God's chosen. You got to come back first. I'm identifying you. You got to come back because they're not going to come back. The white man, the Mexican, they're not coming back because they don't know God like you do. Say it again. I'll say it again. They know him for the money. You better, and they're going to get your money. Then you see the white superiority mentality over the black inferior mentality. The black man will go to the white man's church and praise him and worship him and give him all of his money. But he will not do the same for a black man. The black man will go to any other restaurant except for a black restaurant. The black man will give his money to any servitude except for his own. Now God is showing y'all, you're going to live by the sword, you're going to die. Because he's going to let you die in the street. While the white man sit in his house and watch you die. And watch you take care of him. Y'all better wait. Tell it and tell them Prophet Johnson said it. I know Miss J and them back there getting nervous. They always get nervous when I talk like this. Sometimes my own crew want to cut me. <laughs> I don't care. Here it is. I'm going to read it and be through with it. Verse number 7, Isaiah 44. And who as I shall call, 
and declare it and set it in order for me since I appointed the ancient people. Watch this. Watch this. And the things that are coming, COVID-19, I appointed COVID-19, and shall come. You see? I, I, I allowed it. Let them show. In other words, what's coming is going to show itself unto you. God know how to pull back. He know how to reveal the truth. He know how to do this. He know how to set it right. God is good. Pride killed this nation. Pride destroyed America. And the moment that that person got up in that Oval Office in that White House and declared before the world that he is like a God, chosen by God, and the Christians anointed him with that lie, pride got lifted up, and God said, okay, you want to make a man God over Jesus? I'm going to bring this nation down and show y'all, y'all ain't nothing. Captain, you always rushing me when you got Miss J. I don't like y'all together. I appointed the ancient people and the things that are coming. Miss J, you ain't no help and shall come and let them show unto them. And let them show unto them. Show unto them. The ancient things, the things that are appointed, they're going to come and show themselves unto us. Folks, Holy Spirit, I'm going to get in trouble. We're in the midst of a wealth transfer. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble. Be ready, some of y'all, to receive the wealth transfer. See, the church closed down. God closed the church down because they wasn't doing nothing. They was up in that line. All you see now is your old landline, your old movies, your old pastors up there still, and they, they leather suits and they look clothes and they, they look clothed and everything. They still flaunting their little stuff and, sw and shaking their little hand in Mr. Peacock and Miss Peacock. You know, they ain't got nothing going on because they wasn't doing nothing. So God pulled them out. You don't need to send your money. No, you don't. You do not need to send your money to those dried up fields. No, you don't need to do that. You need to sow right here in the wetlands. Right here in front. I say it again. You don't need to give them nothing. Nothing. You see, now you got pastors riding around, a pastor's appreciation. Captain, y'all to hear Miss J, I hope y'all listening. Pastor's appreciation. Folks in the cars riding around, signs on the side of the car, honoring their pastor up and down the roads in the street in, in, in different cities, saying, we still going to appreciate our pastor. This is appreciation. We going to take care of your pastor. Don't worry about COVID-19. Pastor, we got you. <laughs> about 100 cars. Appreciating the pastor. You still, you still don't see it, do you? You won't get them back to God. Captain, hold on. You won't get them back to God. Okay? Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time and have declared it? You are even my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Yea, there is no God. I know not any. We don't have another one come. Cap, not to, Cap, I got 30 seconds. And, and, and every time I get to the last 30 seconds, that's when you rush me. Uh, 30 seconds. <coughs> Ezekiel, 16 and 6, and I'm closing. For those of you that's going through the COVID-19 fear and everything else. I'm going to give you the healing right quick as I had to share. Ezekiel 16 and 6. Look at this right here. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Son of man, cause Jerusalem to know her abomination. Cause America to know. I'm closed the cap. I got 30 seconds. And say, thus saith the Lord God of Jerusalem, thy birth and thy nativity 
is of the land of Canaan. Thy father was an Amorite and thy mother a Hittite. And as for thy nativity, in the day thou was born, thy navel was not cut. Neither was thou washed in water to supple thee. Thou was not salted at all, nor swaddled at all. This is the death. This is what's happening. This is COVID-19. Captain, I'm closing. I've got to give it to the people. None I pitied thee. Nobody felt sorry for you to do any of these things under you, to help you out, to have compassion upon you. But thou was cast out in the open field. I know that feeling. Cast out in the open field, rejected a mother. Didn't nobody know? Kept. I got the clothes. Let me get to my scripture. I'm tired of you and Miss J. I can't never have no fun when I come to church. Y'all old focus don't get boring me. He said in verse number, I was cast out into the open field to the loathing, the loathing of thy persons in the day that thou was born. They said I was no good. And this is what God is saying. To all of you who are dealing with this COVID-19, I don't like it no more than you. But I've got to close. I got 15 seconds. And when I pass by thee, God said, I saw you, broken captain. I saw you. And captain, this is your healing. God, you won't listen. Y'all won't listen to me. And when I passed by thee, this is your healing. And saw thee polluted in thine own blood. All of us, prophet, why do you say captain? Because I ain't got nobody else to pick on, Miss J. I saw thee polluted in thine own blood. Everyone that has a blood disease, you may have a blood disease in your, in your bowel movement. You may have a blood disease in your nose. I don't know nothing about blood diseases. In your uterus or your urine, you may have a blood disease of some blood disease. You may have a blood disease. And I have went through it. I still go through things. But I know the grace of God and I know the promises of God is in this word. Because he told me to tell you when I saw thee polluted in thy blood. He said, I looked at you. I looked at you. He said, when I saw thee polluted in thy blood, I said unto thee, when thou was in thy blood, live. Yea, I said unto thee. When thou was in thy blood. Live! He said, I want you to live. And then he said, I'm going to cause your fields to bud. And I'm going to cause you to be blessed once again. And I'm praying against every blood disease. And that God will heal with the blood bought of Jesus Christ. Blood wash. That's my time, y'all. I got to go. Captain, got to get out of here. Miss J got to go back to school. We've got to move this forward. 7 o'clock a.m. in the morning time. Will y'all pray with me if you're up? And 7 o'clock in the evening. Pray with me. If you don't do nothing but say, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses and we give those for trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation but deliver us from evil for thine kingdom power. If you don't do it with that, I'm going to be praying every time, chance I get in, against and I'm praying Psalms, not Psalms, uh, 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people, and I'm asking God to let us humble ourselves so that he can heal our land. The president got one thing right. It can be like a miracle. It can just go away. That's my time. I'd like to thank you for yours. Will you repeat after me and say, Father, I'm a sinner. Forgive me for my sins. And I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Sandra, Linwood, Lucy, Star. Who else? I'm forgetting one. And somebody else I don't forget. Um, Brunel, thank you for your seed. 
of $120. God bless each and every one of y'all. Continue to give. Continue to be a blessing. And watch God multiply your seed song. That's my time. Thank you for yours. Repeat after me. Say, Father, I'm a sinner. Forgive me for my sins, and I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior, and I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, let Jesus use you, and God going to use this word. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Test of life. Bye. And I was I'm I'm my hope is built in you, Lord. I'm looking forward. I'm moving forward. Not gonna live my best and in my way. I won't give up. I'm gonna keep pushing. Wow.